Question. 501. In case of which fires can you use water to put it out? Answers. A. Gasoline fires. B. Tire fires. C. Electrical fires. The correct answer is B. Question 502. Your vehicle is in a traffic emergency and may collide with another vehicle if you do not take action. Which of these is a good rule to remember at such a time? Answers A. Leaving the road is always more risky than hitting another vehicle. B. Stopping is always the safest action in a traffic emergency. C. You can almost always turn to miss an obstacle more quickly than you can stop. The correct answer is C. Question 503. Which of these statements about tires and hot weather driving is true? Answers A. The air pressure of a tire decreases as the temperature of the tire increases. B. If tires were too hot to touch, letting 5 or 10 pounds of pressure out would cool them down. C. You should inspect your tires every 2 hours or every 100 miles when driving in very hot weather. The correct answer is C. Question 504. Which of these is the most important thing to remember about emergency braking? Answers. A. Disconnecting the steering axle brakes will keep your vehicle in a straight line during emergency braking. B. If the wheels are skidding, you cannot control your vehicle. C. Never do it without downshifting first. The correct answer is B. Question. 505. Which of these statements about driving in areas with strong wind is true? Answers. A. Winds are especially a problem when coming out of tunnels. B. The lighter your vehicle, the less trouble you will have with the wind. C. You should drive alongside other vehicles to help break up the wind. The correct answer is A. CDL test. Master your CDL exam in no time. Download now. Question 506. To avoid a crash, you had to drive into the right shoulder. You are now driving at 40 miles per hour on the shoulder. How should you move back into the pavement? Answers A. Steer sharply onto the pavement, then brake hard as you counter steer. B. Brake hard to slow the vehicle, then steer sharply onto the pavement. C. If the shoulder is clear, stay on the right until your vehicle comes to a stop, then move back into the pavement when it is safe. The correct answer is C. Question 507. You can see a marking on a vehicle ahead of you. Then marking is a red triangle with an orange center. What does the marking mean? Answers. A. It may be a slow-moving vehicle. B. The vehicle is hauling hazardous materials. C. It is being driven by a student driver. The correct answer is A. Question 508. High beams should be. Answers. A. Used when it is safe and legal to do so. B. Dimmed at the time when you get within 100 feet of another vehicle. C. Turned on when an oncoming driver does not dim his or her lights. The correct answer is A.
Question. 509. What is the proper way to hold a steering wheel? Answers. A. With both hands close together, near the top of the wheel. B. With both hands on opposite sides of the wheel. C. With both hands close together, near the bottom of the wheel. The correct answer is B. Question 510. You are driving a 40 foot vehicle at 35 miles per hour. The road is dry and visibility is good. What is the least amount of space you should keep in front of your vehicle to be safe? Answers A. 4 seconds. B. 3 seconds. C. 5 seconds. The correct answer is A. Question 511. What is counter stirring? Answers A. Using the steering axle brakes to prevent oversteering. B. Turning the wheel back in the other direction after steering to avoid a traffic emergency. C. Turning the steering wheel counterclockwise. The correct answer is B. Question 512. You are driving a vehicle that could safely be driven at 55 miles per hour on an open road, but traffic is heavy and other vehicles drive at the speed of 35 miles per hour, though the speed limit is 55 miles per hour. The safest speed for your vehicle is more likely to be. Answers A. 45 miles per hour. B. 35 miles per hour. C. 55 miles per hour. The correct answer is B. Question 513. The road you are driving on becomes very slippery due to glare ice. Which of these is a good thing to do in such a situation? Answers A. Downshift to stop. B. Keep varying your speed by accelerating and braking. C. Stop driving as soon as you can safely do so. The correct answer is C. Question 514. Which of these is not part of the pre-trip inspection of the engine compartment? Answers A. Valve clearance. B. Engine oil level. C. Worn electrical wiring insulation. The correct answer is A. Question 515. To correct a drive wheel braking skid, you should. Answers A. Stop braking, turn quickly, then counter steer. B. Increase braking, turn quickly, and counter steer. C. Increase braking. The correct answer is A. Question 516. When exiting or entering on a curved freeway ramp, you should Answers A. Maintain the posted speed limit. B. Slow down to at least 50% of the posted speed limit. C. Maintain a speed 5 to 10 miles per hour under the posted speed limit. The correct answer is C. Question 517. Which of these statements about backing a heavy vehicle is true? Answers A. It is safer to back toward the right side of the vehicle than toward the driver's side. B. Helpers should be out of the driver's sight and use only voice signals to communicate with the driver. C. 
you should avoid backing whenever you can. The correct answer is C. Question 518. Which of these best describes how you should use the brake pedal on a steep downhill grade? Answers A. Repeated strong pressure then release. B. Light pumping action. C. Release the brake when you A5 mph below your safe speed, then let your speed come back up to your safe speed and repeat again, bring speed down 5 mph below your safe speed. The correct answer is C. Question 519. Which of these statements about double clutching and shifting is true? Answers A. Double clutching should not be used when the road is slippery. B. Double clutching should only be used with a heavy load. C. You can use the tachometer to tell you when to shift. The correct answer is C. Question 520. The new back blood alcohol concentration for commercial drivers to be considered intoxicated when driving a commercial vehicle is Answers A. 0.10 B. 0.01 C. 0.04 The correct answer is C. Question 521. Where should the ignition key be during the pre-trip inspection? Answers A. In your pocket. B. In the ignition. C. On the driver's seat. The correct answer is A. Question 522. When loading a trailer, if the cargo is loaded all to the rear, it may result in Answers A. Poor traction on drive wheels. B. Damage to steering axle. C. Wheel lockup. The correct answer is A. Question. 523. Communication means. Answers. A. To communicate your intention to other motorists. B. Talking with law enforcement officers. C. To talk on the CB radio. The correct answer is A. Question. 524. Which of the following vehicles will have the longest stopping distance? Answers A. Empty truck. B. Bobtail tractor. C. Loaded truck. The correct answer is A. Question 525. How many red reflective triangles are you required to carry? Answers A. 2 B. 4 C. 3 The correct answer is C. Question 526 you are required to inspect your truck within how many miles after beginning the trip? Answers A. 100 B. 150 C. 50 The correct answer is C. Question 527 there are two types of jackknife, they are Answers A. Both trailer and tractor 
B. Trailer. C. Tractor. The correct answer is A. Question 528. To prevent a load from shifting, there should be at least one tie down for every feed of cargo. Answers A. 20. B. 15. C. 10. The correct answer is C. Question 529. The center of gravity of a load. Answers A. Should be kept as high as possible. B. Can make a vehicle more likely to tip over on curves if it is high. C. Is only a problem if the vehicle is overloaded. The correct answer is B. Question 530. When the hydraulic brakes fail while you are driving, the system will not build up pressure and the brake pedal will feel spongy or go to the floor. What should you do? Answers A. Pump the brake pedal to generate pressure. B. Put the vehicle in neutral and set the parking brake. C. Push down the brake pedal as hard as you can. The correct answer is A. Question 531. While driving, ice builds up on your wipers and they no longer clean the windshield. You should. Answers A. Keep driving and spray the windshield with washer fluid. B. Stop safely and fix the problem. C. Keep driving and turn your defroster on. The correct answer is B. Question 532. If you are stopped at a roadside rest area and found to have a back blood alcohol concentration of 0.02 you will. Answers. A. Be placed out of service for 24 hours. B. Be in deep trouble with your dispatcher. C. Be placed out of service for 72 hours. The correct answer is A. Question 533. If you are convicted for driving under the influence while driving a commercial vehicle, and this is your first offense, you most likely will get. Answers A. A fine of $250. B. At least one year suspension of your CDL. C. A probation period for one year. The correct answer is B. Question 534. You are traveling down a long, steep hill. Your brakes get so hot that they have failed. What should you do? Answers A. Look for an escape ramp or escape route. B. Both. C. Downshift and pump the brake pedal. The correct answer is A. Question 535. Backing of the commercial vehicle is. Answers. A. Not dangerous if you don't have to turn. B. Not dangerous if you have a helper. C. Always dangerous. The correct answer is C. Question 536. When driving through the work zone you should. Answers. A. Turn on your parking lights. B. Watch for sharp pavement drop-off. C. 
reduce your speed only if workers are close to the roadway? The correct answer is B. Question 537. You must stop on a hill or curve on a two-lane two-way road. How far should you place reflective triangles? Answers. A. Within 200 feet behind you. B. As far back as necessary so others can see you. C. Within 500 feet behind you. The correct answer is C. Question 538. When you are parked at the side of the road at night you must. Answers. A. Turn on your four-way emergency flashers to warn others. B. Use your taillights to give warning to other drivers. C. Put out your emergency warning lights within 30 minutes. The correct answer is A. Question 539. To prevent brake fade you should. Answers. A. Select the gear, which will keep your vehicle to a safe speed on a deep downgrade. B. Apply constant hard pressure on the brakes while driving downhill. C. Coast downhill, which is not very steep. The correct answer is A. Question 540. Which may be a sign of tire failure? Answers A. Vibration B. Wheels skidding C. A loud hissing noise The correct answer is A. Question 541. When driving at night you should use your low beams when oncoming traffic is within of how many feet? Answers A. 500 B. 300 C. 400 The correct answer is A. Question 542 a full stop is required at trail road crossing when? Answers A. There are no flagmen, warning signals or gate at the crossing. B. The crossing is located in the city or town, with a frequent train transit. C. The nature of a cargo makes a stop mandatory under the state or federal regulations. The correct answer is C. Question 543. What happens to tar on the road pavement during hot weather? Answers. A. It becomes staining making tires stick to the road. B. Nothing. C. It bleeds making the road surface slippery. The correct answer is C. Question 544. What is the best advice for drivers when a heavy fog occurs? Answers A. Alternate your own high beams to improve your vision. B. Do not drive too slowly or other drivers may hit you. C. Park the truck until the fog disappears. The correct answer is C. Question 545. In bad weather many car drivers tailgate large vehicles. What should you do? Answers. A. Increase your following distance. B. Speed up to distance yourself from the tailgater. C. Lightly tap your brake to warn the tailgater to drop back. The correct answer is A.
Question. 546. Which of the following systems should receive extra attention during winter weather inspection? Answers. A. Suspension. B. Steering. C. Exhaust. The correct answer is C. Question 547. Which of the following is not a characteristic of a front tire failure? Answers A. Cold steering. B. Steering wheel twisting. C. Vehicle's fishtail. The correct answer is A. Question 548. Most skids? Answers A. Are caused by going too fast or trying to stop too quickly. B. Happen on ice. C. Do not happen with radial tires. The correct answer is A. Question 549. Stab braking should not be used on vehicles with Answers A. Anti-lock brakes B. Trailers C. Hazardous materials The correct answer is a. Question 550. Sometimes you need to leave a road to avoid a hazard or emergency. When you do, you should keep in mind that. Answers. A. Most shoulders are not strong enough to support a heavy vehicle. B. You might be unable to re-enter the road because of the gavel used on shoulders. C. It is less dangerous to drive onto the shoulders than to make a collision. The correct answer is C. Question 